Welcome to this preview of Cloud4 Analytics, the new cloud-based business intelligence solution of SAP. Running on the Cloud4 Analytics platform, well also the Cloud4 Planning, and later on the uh, Cloud4 Predictive applications will run. On the screen you see my landing page, uh, which uh, works via the mechanism of pinning, um, so you can pin uh, events, as you can see on the top right hand side graphs analysis to your home screen um, every user can do that individually and tune and tweak that as needed the uh, this is the uh, the landing page as said and uh, the core menu composes of a home a modeler tab where you can model um, your planning or business intelligence models there's reports there's allocations uh, which you can use for planning stories, the uh, well-known storyboards, which are also used in uh, Lumira, for example, so kind of dashboards, uh, files that you can upload, you can work with events, and over here is a little bit about system administration. Um, so if imagine that um, I want to analyze one of my stories regarding uh, growth margin uh, performance, I want to do that because I want to adjust maybe my planning. So this is the way I could go. I uh, tick my stories and I choose my uh, campaign or my story uh, that I'm interested in. So for example, this one, which brings me to this page. This page is a summary of my story. I've uh, detailed uh, pages over here. So I can tick, for example, gross margin details and one of the things that I've noticed is that uh, apparently using this GraphoMate, I can see that two of the three states um, apparently face issues with gross uh, margins. So I can uh, take, for example, uh, the graph. And uh, if I take it again, I uh, have a number of options. I can filter the data. I can exclude the set of data. Uh, I can drill down on the location. I have various sorting options. I can do ranking or I can uh, choose to uh, uh, show and hide various options. So let me uh, drill down. And over here I can see that apparently in Ohio I have uh, two substates that um, warn me a little bit because my gross margin is under pressure for the moment. Based on what I see over here, I decide to uh, go in a little bit more detail regarding the revenue details which uh, gives you a little bit of insight on uh, the graphical capabilities that Cloud4 Analytics embeds. Um, and one of the things I could do is, um, based on the margin that is under pressure, I might consider to look at how um, the different states are using coupons for selling and their discounts rates to see whether these are affecting the mar uh, margin pressure. So what I do is I um, create a new canvas and I decide to uh, create a new uh, visualization. Yeah, so for example, new chart. And um, I um, decide to have a look at coupon usage to see whether coupon usage is, uh, is one of the things causing my problem. Of course, I'm interested to uh, link coupon usage to my original margin analysis so I can uh, take the link perspectives and choose uh, on the left hand side, I have my model regarding coupon usage and on the right hand side, I can uh, choose my Pacific sales uh, section. And what I now do is, uh, this is a blending technique. So you can not only uh, join if you wish, uh, which requires unique keys in the lookup table, but uh, like Lumira, also Cloud Analytics allows for data blending where it is not required anymore to have unique keys in the lookup tables. So I'm going to blend over product and location and okay that. And if I now tick uh, product, you will see that this little marker, linked marker uh, opens up, uh, identifying that I've now access to the full attributes from both data sets. So uh, I'll decide to uh, use gross margin discount uh, number of coupons used and I take that and you see that uh, here's automatically my graph coming up. Uh, I'm now in the builder mode. Um, you will see that Lumira 
automatically detects the best suitable GUAF uh, available. I can go in formatting mode where I, for example, can choose the, uh, the color palettes to give you an idea. Um, I can also uh, change uh, the chart type if I'm interested in. So there's a whole bunch of charts available. Um, but let me uh, try to use this one. I want to uh, analyze over uh, location, so um, I'll pick that up and delete the product. And now again, I have the uh, locations analysis, and um, this might be the right moment to put a little filter in there. Take that and have a look at, for example, coupon usage, the type of coupons that I'd like to, uh, I could, for example, have a look at all the coupons that have a quite a big discount, which uh, gives me a little bit of a uh, solution to, uh, to my margin um, problem. At least I have the cause of it. Apparently in Ohio, the number of highly discounted coupons is way higher than in the other states, which might affect my margin issue. So now you have an idea on uh, how it could work, uh, how easy it is to work in Cloud for Analytics. If I um, like or want to share what I see, I can uh, start chat mode and uh, start discussions uh, with, uh, with people um, or share my, uh, my interests. Very powerful in Cloud for Analytics is the new collaboration techniques uh, that goes throughout the whole uh, platform. So Cloud for Analytics, Cloud for Planning. Um, if I tick this little button over here, I can start up the collaboration and any visualization, story, report, uh, filtering whatsoever, I can uh, put that in a discussion. So I can tick the discussion button and invite people to, um, to send that to. And these people immediately can access um, with a single click uh, the analysis and um, can review, can comment back and um, I'll create it right now. The last thing I'd like to share with you is the following is the data view, which is a very powerful feature on my left hand side. If I take that one, I select the data model that I want to have a look at. So, for example, this one and I select the matrix that I'm interested in. I choose metrics, for example, uh, quantity and sales value. And um, in this data view, I can uh, just select a dimension, which uh, immediately generates the, uh, the graphs for me, which I can hover and gives me background information or metadata. Uh, I can make a selection. For example, I want to see anything that is uh, lemonade. You can see over here the uh, cascading prompts and it should be in Arkansas or California and the graphs automatically adjust. I can change the graph mm -hmm. types uh, as I want. So a very powerful feature. Thanks for your attention and I wish you an uh, enjoyable afternoon. Bye bye.